Estoc is best hawk, therefore I'm going to be showing you an Estoc build guide in Elden Ring. This is a nice weapon to pair with a shield because you can do shield pokes with it. Now it's actually pretty strong, it's a weapon you can get very early on in the game. So we'll be going over all of the leveling here. So this is at level 150, but we want to get our vigor up first and we need not that much mind or endurance because we can wield one of these medium shields. So make sure you get your poise up to 56, so this requires 28 endurance with the whatever armor you can to get your poise up to 56. I went with 16 dexterity, allowing us to go with the brass shield, which is a little bit better. And it also lets us wield a few different weapons as well. So if you don't want to just always use the s talk this is a minor strength in, uh, investment here. I went with 70 dexterity, although this is boosted by Millicent's prosthesis, so it, it goes up to 75. I went with 15 faith and 16 arcane. This allows us to cast some incantations to further boost our damage. I went with the brass shield there, keen s talk and as for our talisman, I think since this weapon attacks so quickly, it's best to go with like Millicent's prosthesis and the rotten wing sword insignia, and also the green turtle talisman because when you're blocking, you do lose stamina. So it's good to have a bit more stamina, but you can also go with like one of the green medallions there. If you don't have any of these, go with go with one of these health medallions or really whatever you find works best for your playstyle. And I went with the uh, great bird armor to boost our jump attacks here. Not going to be a big focus of it, but. Typically, we want to be, you can do uh, jump attacks there, not the best choice for our damage. It's actually best to use our shield to block physical damage, and you can dodge roll if you need to. But the way we're going to set up is we're going to start with Flame Grammy Strength and then Blood Flame Blade. This is going to put blood build up on our weapon as well as fire damage. I accidentally cast it again there, I meant to pull the shield up. So what it looks like is you can block, you can actually stagger enemies out of their attack animations with your shield up like that. So, you do do a little bit less damage with your shield up than if you're just attack normally, but it's worth having your shield up because, like, normally we do 697 damage, um, and then with the shield up, it's 651 there. So, a little bit less damage, but it's much better for overall survivability. And I also put the Impaling Thrust Weapon Art on there because it's great for closing distances against enemies there. So, you can see we got a good range with this weapon, allowing us to attack and deal basically double damage with your attacks. So it's pretty powerful. We just have Flame Grammy Strength wear off there, but with the Millicent's Prosthesis, the more times we attack, the more we're going to get damage up. So it's actually, you're encouraged to keep stabbing and do that as much as you can to get further damage boosts. And then you can also use the Weaponer to be able to zip around and fight enemies a little bit quicker. So this is really probably one of the more advantageous positions to put the s talk into is getting your shield up now it does have a wide variety of weapon arts that you can apply to it so if you don't want to use the impaling thrust you can go with other ones i just find it's great for closing distances so craig blade's good for increasing overall damage output i also like to go with like flame grip or uh, go with the uh, bloodhound step for mobility but even like the hoarfrost stomp for frost damage is pretty good uh, Chilling Mist is another great option there, and you don't have to go with the uh, cold imbuement there. You can just go with a regular old imbuement uh, or infinity there to keep the keen scaling, which is going to give us the most damage. And then when you do the Chilling Mist, the nice thing about that is it does proc a bit of extra frost damage whenever you attack. So now our weapon is coated with frost. Now, you can also do this with Frostbite Grease. There's other ways of maintaining this, but this is going to be the best because it just uses your FP. And then you can also buff up with Flame Grammy Strength. You can also go with a blood loss build because we have enough arcane to be able to cast swarm of flies which is really nice because using swarm of flies allows us to trigger the blood loss build up and if we have the lord of blood's exaltation alongside the white mask we can get a 30 percent boost for our damage after triggering blood loss which is just incredible so that is another way you can go about doing this but even so having the shield up to block 100 percent physical damage is pretty nice you can go with other shields too like the uh, if you want to go all the way on strength you can use the fingerprint stone shield which is the best in slot it does require 48 strength and a bit more endurance or even the vertigris great shield which requires 49 strength we would change this from the keen scaling to a heavy scaling and then it would work as well so s talk is a great weapon even if you don't want to use a shield you can play pretty offensively because it does attack really quickly here as you can see so it does this three attack pattern really quickly before you can even like before the enemy can even react and the nice thing about it is it'll boost up your damage with the rod and wing sword insignia so you can continue to just deal a ton of damage and take out the enemy in elden ring so there it is there is a very powerful s talk build guide in elden ring if you found this video useful please hit the subscribe button below thank you so much for watching i'll see you all in the next video